We're taking five of the most popular Kamado grills and the extra large size and running them all through 20 tests to see which one is the best for you. This video condenses our years of learning about Kamado cooking into the single video running the top brands head to head. Now stick around to the end of this video and find out how you can enter to win one of these grills in our giveaway that starts today. Now here's how we set this up. There are 20 different categories that we're going to test each of these Kamados in. We're going to test grilling, hot and fast cooking, low and slow cooking. We'll look at the materials they're made of, discuss their functions and so much more. So instead of a lengthy intro, just know that at the end, we're going to tally up who won each category and tabulate a winner. So let's get into the tests. The Kamado grills in our test today are the Vision XD702 Maxis, the Pit Boss K24, the Big Green Egg XL, the Life Smart K24B, and the Kamado Joe Big Joe 1. Now assembly is the obvious first place to begin and putting together a Kamado is really simple. For most of these units, the grill itself is already assembled in the box. The Big Green Egg has more assembly steps required since you need to attach the rings and the hinge to the grill. But the Big Joe, Life Smart, Pit Boss and the Vision Grill are pretty much just three main steps. First, you build the stand. Second, you lift the grill up onto the stand. And third, you put on the side shelves and the handle. Now the best instructions, the labeling and overall assembly level of ease was the Vision Maxis for us. Now everything was labeled really well, packaged by section and it just flew together. Now you can learn pretty quickly that what comes in the box is very different from brand to brand. The Big Green Egg comes with the fewest accessories in the box. It's just the egg, handle, and the spring that assists opening the lid. Anything else that you want to go with it, you need to buy separately. For the other brands, it's probably easiest to show you what comes in the box by using a chart of all the options. Looking at this graph, you can see what all comes in the box with each brand. The dollar sign means it costs extra, and the check mark means it's already in the box. The Vision Grill comes with the most accessories in the box, followed by the LifeSmart unit. Now the green egg comes with, well, the egg and a handle pretty much, so everything is extra with their brand. Now there's a lot to digest here, so feel free to hit pause, look it over, but we are moving on. Even though these are all XL size Kamados, there's a significant difference in size between the five. When you stand them next to each other, there's no questioning which is the largest. The Kamado Joe towers above them all and is much wider than the rest. The Big Joe one boasts a width of 28 inches across for the largest in the group, while the Big Green Egg comes in second, measuring 26 and a half inches wide. The Vision Maxis measures exactly 24 inches across, while the Pit Boss and Life Smart units measure just shy of 24 inches. Now, all of these Kamados are made of ceramic, and there are varying thicknesses that make up each unit. The thickest ceramic is found in the Kamado Joe Big Joe with a measurement of one and a quarter inches thick. Now, it also brings a weight to the unit, which weighs in at well over 400 pounds. All that ceramic doesn't go to waste though, as these are extremely efficient cookers. Kamado grills use a fraction of the charcoal that you would use on a charcoal grill or smoker made of other materials. All of the other Kamados have one inch thick ceramic, so it's not a massive amount more, but you can feel it in the weight and how it operates. If we take a look at cooking capacity, I like to talk about the main cooking surface first, since that's what I'm using 99% of the time. Now the upper racks are great for smoking, but when I'm grilling, they're more of a nuisance for me since I need to be in and out moving meat around every two or three minutes sometimes. Looking at the main grates of these Kamados, it's no surprise that the largest Kamado has the largest main grate. So the Kamado Joe Big Joe comes in first with 21 and a half inches wide of usable cooking surface. 
The Big Green Egg XL comes in second with 20 and a half inches wide of grill grate. And the Pit Boss and Life Smart units have exactly half an inch less than the Green Egg with 20 inches of grill grate width. Now the Vision Maxis comes in last place with an 18 and a half inch cooking grid to work with. And that smaller number is due to the handles that are on the main grate to lift up the heavy cast iron grate. Without those handles, you'd have a hard time lifting it out when needed. So I'm glad they're there, but it does cut down down on cooking surface. Now capacity isn't just horizontal space though, and the second rack certainly helps to add cooking space and is available for each model. The vertical cooking space I want to discuss though is the space between the main grate and the top of the lid, the space you'd need if you were going to cook a beer can chicken on your Kamado. Now based on our measurements, the Green Egg XL has the most available cooking height from the grate to the top of the cooker at 13 and a quarter inches. The Kamado Joe comes in second with 12 and a half inches, the Life Smart is in third with 12 inches, the Pit Boss in fourth with 11 and a half inches, and the Vision in fifth with 10 and a half inches of vertical cooking space. Now the other cooking height that matters to me is the height of the grate where the unit is on the stand. Now it affects how we interact with each grill and there's a good level of difference between the grills. We took a tape measure and measured from the patio floor to the top lip of the ceramic when the grill lid is open. Now the Vision has the shortest working height at 33 and a half inches and the Pit Boss is just a quarter of an inch higher at 33 and three quarters high. The Life Smart is next at 34 and a quarter inches with the green egg coming in at around 35 inches for operating height. Now the Kamado Joe is the highest with a working height of 38 inches, which is five inches taller than the Vision. So if you're quite tall, the Kamado Joe is probably the grill for you so you're not bent over while you're cooking. For Melissa, she's a fan of the Vision height, so the choice for you probably comes in accordance with your natural height. Now the minimum and maximum temperature range on each of these Kamado grills is rather difficult to determine. The low end can be measured by how small of a fire you can burn inside, so everything from cold smoking to 180 to 200 degrees is possible on the low end if you really limit the airflow and restrict the fuel source. Now the high temperature range really resembles a game of chicken more than anything else, with the manufacturer wanting us to be able to get our grills screaming hot without melting the gasket or cracking the ceramic so they'd have a warranty claim. Now I know some people who have gotten their grills so hot that they've melted the gasket, but I haven't met someone yet who's cracked their ceramic. Now it takes a crazy hot fire to crack ceramic since it's fired at over 2300 degrees Fahrenheit, but the brands don't really come out and say what the high limits are for most of their grills. Most grill pages say 500 degrees Fahrenheit plus for searing, but they don't give a high. Now Kamado Joe says 750 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's the highest we found on any manufacturer website. Now, to test the hinge, I had Melissa come out and lift up each lid and rate the hinge's ability to make lifting the lid the easiest. Now, Melissa rated the Vision Maxis as the easiest to lift, and I have to agree. They call their hinge a Komodomatic hinge, and it's a single spring that's adjustable to make the lid feather light to lift. She rated the Kamado Joe Big Joe as second easiest, and it's surprising since it's the largest unit with the heaviest lid. What makes it easy though is the six spring system that they have in place to make it happen. There are four springs assisting in the lid swinging up and two springs helping pivot the bar that the four springs are attached to for the lid. It's a cool system that makes lifting a huge lid quite easy. Now, Melissa liked the green egg third out of the group, but wasn't a big fan of the lid hinging back and up instead of just up like the others. The Pit Boss and Life Smart ended up tied for last place for her, but I'll make the distinction that I think the Pit Boss lid is easier to lift than Life Smart simply because there are three springs on the Pit Boss lid compared to two on the Life Smart lid. When it comes to warranties, there are three brands that lead the pack with a limited lifetime warranty. And those are the Big Green Egg, the Kamado Joe, and the Vision Maxis. The Pit Boss has a five-year warranty and the Life Smart has a one-year warranty. Now, if you've ever used a Kamado and had trouble managing your temperatures, you might be a good candidate for a fan controller and all five of these units are built to work with one. Now, any of the models from the major brands like Thermoworks, 
Fireboard, Flame Boss, and others. They have adapters that can attach their fan to the air input port of all of these units. Now the most unusual attachment is found in the Vision Grills Maxis, as you need to use the electric starter port as the fan port since the intake air port is two dials instead of a sliding door. Now no real winner or loser here as they're all compatible with external fans if you'd like to put your Kamado on autopilot. Now we have all of these models on their carts that either came with them or can be purchased separately. Mobility is an issue that I want to cover since we move these units around the patio quite often. Now we install pavers in our patio that are styled to be uneven, so we're moving these around a not so smooth surface. And it's worth noting that only one grill really moves around well, and that's the Big Green Egg XL. The XL has the largest wheels out of the group and it's simple to move from place to place. The Kamado Joe comes in second, and that's primarily because of the sheer weight of the unit. Once you get it moving, it barely notices the dips and the uneven pavers. Now the Vision comes in third with the Pit Boss taking fourth and the Life Smart taking fifth. Now one question I always get when I'm cooking with a Kamado is can we get a smoke ring in our meat with each one? Now the answer to that is yes. You can get a smoke ring, but you have to add wood chunks or chips to the coals when you're cooking. So let's talk about how easy it is to add wood to the fire when you're cooking with one of these units. The Pit Boss and Life Smart grills both have a hinged grate that you can simply lift up and drop wood directly onto the fire. Now the Kamado Joe has two half moon grates that you can lift up individually to add charcoal or wood, but they aren't hinged and take a little bit more effort than the Life Smart and Pit Boss. The Green Egg has a single grate that needs to be lifted up of, as a whole unit, but it's still easier to lift up and access than the Vision, where the entire cast iron grate must be lifted out entirely to add wood chunks to the fire. Now, since we're talking about the Pit Boss Hinged Grate, this is the actual unit that you can win in our monthly giveaway. Stick with us for instructions on how you can win this actual grill and an opportunity to see the barbecue lab in person. When you look at these units, you'll notice that all five grills have a hood thermometer, but they vary in size. The smallest is found in our Big Green Egg, and admittedly, this is an older version of their thermometer, but it's still the smallest of the bunch, coming in at 1 and 11 16 inches wide. Now, the Vision is the next largest, but by a 16th of an inch, and the LifeSmart is next by another eighth of an inch. Now we use the interior measurements of the thermometer since the exterior trim varied widely and didn't really affect the readability. Now the second largest thermometer is found in the Pit Boss at two inches wide and the winner by far is the Kamado Joe Big Joe with a massive almost three inch wide thermometer. Now while I could talk about the specifics of these grills for hours, it's really time to light them up and show you what they can do. And we started with a low and slow test where we cooked a chuck roast indirectly on each Kamado. We partnered with Porter Road for these cooks, and if you like what you're seeing in this quality of meat, know that they can be your online butcher. I'll show you how in just a minute. Now we unpackaged the chuck roast and found that each was trussed with twine and that the major fat veins had been cut out, which was lovely. Now we started with a layer of sea salt and then a layer of black pepper and topped it off with some Montreal steak seasoning to give a little crunch to the final product. We fired up the Kamados to 250 to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and let the roast cook for four hours without opening the lid. At the four hour mark, here's how each of the roasts were progressing. Now next, we labeled some beef broth over the top of each roast and covered them with foil to braise until they fell apart. We pulled them off the grill and shredded them for burritos, and here's what each grill produced using the same piece of meat from the same vendor with the same salt, pepper, and steak seasoning on the outside. Now, an interesting thing to note here is that the Vision Grill gave us a smoke ring when the others didn't. Now, since that's the grill that we've been using in the outdoor kitchen before this test, there was a bit of charcoal left in the grill that I didn't think much about when we went to fill each grill for this test. And I guess there were still some wood chunks in there as well. So I learned a lesson for our next time that we run this. Either put wood chunks in all of them or completely clean out each grill to bare ceramic. Now, next we wanted to put them to a test for a hot and fast cook. And we sourced some chicken legs from Porter Road that we turned into lollipops with an orange chicken glaze. 
just a light coating of an all-purpose seasoning that we're working on here at the lab to get things started. And once the lollipops hit an internal temperature of about 160 degrees, we pull them off the grills and glaze them in our two ingredient orange chicken glaze. Now, if you wanna learn more, I'll drop the recipe up here and in the description, and you can print the recipe card on the barbecuelab.com website. Now, after we read 175 degrees in each piece of chicken, we pulled them off and they were ready to eat. Now, they were so good that Ethan ate six or seven of them that day and asks for them on the regular around here. You know it's good when a kid asks for it. So this one is a winner and all of the grills did quite well with this recipe, even though the vision got away from us a bit and got a bit more done than we prefer. Humans, what are you gonna do? It's almost too close to call a winner here, but I'm gonna say that the Kamado Joe had the best looking lollipops in our test by a very small margin. Now the last cooking test was a full high heat grilling test where we grilled filet mignon steaks on each grill at a heat of 550 degrees. Now we're big fans of grill grate raised rail panels here at the lab, so we cooked two steaks on each grill, one on the factory grate and one on the grill grate panel to see which turned out better. We let each steak sit on the grate for about three minutes, then lifted the lid to turn the steaks 90 degrees. After another three minutes, we flipped the steaks over, and after another three minutes, we turned them 90 degrees one more time before pulling them off the grill three minutes later when they temped at 135 degrees internal. Now the grill marks in each case were better on the grill grates panel, except for the Vision grill, where the cast iron grates outperformed the grill grate marks, and it was the only grill to do so in our test. Every grill produced a delicious steak, but the best looking overall was the Vision steak. Now there was hardly any difference in the taste of the steak from any grill since we used the same charcoal and set each grill to the same temperature with the same cooking time for each. Now you heard me say that Porter Road helped us with the meat for this video. So the meat that you saw us cook in the first two tests were from our friends at Porter Road. If you haven't yet checked out Porter Road, they're an online butcher shop that delivers high quality meat straight to your door. In today's cook, we used dry aged chuck roasts that were butterfly trimmed and tied with butcher's twine and they were so good. Now when I shop at our local grocery, the chuck roasts usually have a very large portion of the roast that's inedible fat and the butterfly cut from Porter Road eliminates most of that. I love the hand trimmed attention to detail that I get from Porter Road in addition to the 14 day dry age that all beef gets before it's shipped out. Now Porter Road works with local farmers who raise animals humanely on pasture land and there's no added hormones or antibiotics. It's meat done the right way. Now, if you're interested in having your meat delivered straight to your door, click the link in the description below to find out more. Now, after all of the cooks in each model, it was time to clean out the ash and get them ready for the next use. Cleaning the Kamados is pretty easy, but it's just not that fun. The easiest to clean out of the bunch by far is the Vision Maxis, as the entire ashtray slides out so you can take it and dump the contents easily. Now there's a trade-off to this though, in that I don't feel that the tray secures tightly enough to keep extra oxygen from getting into the Kamado when I'm trying to shut it down. So if the trade-off is worth it for ease of cleaning, this is our winner for easy cleaning. Now the Kamado Joe comes in second since it comes with an ashtray that sits in the bottom of the grill. You just take the handle when it's cool, pull the tray out and dump the ash. Now for some reason, I almost always end up dropping the handle off the ashtray every time I use it and I have to reattach it, but you probably won't have that problem. I'm a slow learner apparently. <laughs> The other three models tie for last place since they need to be scraped out with an ash tool into a bucket every time you use them. Before we look at the winner, we need to look at the cost to make a fair comparison. Going back to our trusty graph that we used earlier, here are the prices for the base units at the time of this video. The LifeSmart comes at the least expensive at just $799, and the Pit Boss comes in in second place at $899, and the rest are priced over $1,000. Now, I wanna make sure we note here that the green egg is priced at $13.99, and that's without any accessories. To get the green egg to the level of accessories that come with the other four models, you'd be spending well over $2,000. 
Green Egg's model seems to be that it's up to you to decide which accessories you want and you can add them on as you please when the other brands are pretty much stuffing the box full of accessory goodness. Just one deciding factor as you consider your options. Now it's time to declare a winner, so let's take a look at each category and tabulate the results. When it comes to an easy assembly process, Vision Grill is the winner. For accessories included with the purchase, Vision Grill comes with the most in the box that you won't have to buy extra once you get it home. For sheer size and measurements, Kamado Joe is the biggest of the bunch. For overall ceramic thickness, Kamado Joe takes top honors. Looking at the main grate without a second level of cooking, Kamado Joe offers the most space. Now for cooking height, it's really a height preference based on how tall you are, so we'll call that category without a winner since it's really subjective. Now for internal cooking height for things like beer can chickens, the green egg wins that category. For temperature range, Kamado Joe takes top honors, and for the best hinge, Vision Grills is the easiest. There's a three-way tie for best warranty with a lifetime warranty on the Kamado Joe, Green Egg, and the Vision, and all five grills work well with an external fan controller. For mobility, Green Egg has been the easiest for us to move around the patio, and when it comes to adding wood or charcoal during a cook, both Pit Boss and LifeSmart have hinged grates that make that easy. Now the largest thermometer is found on the Kamado Joe, and for the cooking tests, the low and slow champion was the Vision Grills Maxis, the hot and fast champion was the Kamado Joe, and the grilling champ was the Vision Grill. Now cleaning after the cooks was easiest on the Vision Grill as well, and I'd just like to add one more category to the results. I wanna talk value for your money. Now the least expensive grill in this list is also the grill that comes with the second most accessories in the box. So for sheer value in the category, LifeSmart takes the prize here. It's amazing to me that you can get this LifeSmart grill for less than half the price of some of the other Kamados in our roundup. In other words, you could have two LifeSmarts for the price of a base unit of one of the others. Now if my math is correct, that leaves us with a tie for first place. With eight category wins each, both Vision Grills and Kamado Joe are the winners of our head-to-head -head showdown. Green Egg takes second place with four wins, LifeSmart takes third with three wins, and Pit Boss comes in fourth with two wins in our Kamado Throwdown. Now that's my ranking, but your ranking might be different. What if you're six foot two and the tallest grill in the bunch is going to save your back? What if you're five foot even and you won't want to have to stand on your tiptoes to flip a burger? Now that certainly changes things. Now if you're going to build it into an outdoor kitchen, a stand coming in the box is a nuisance rather than a blessing, so that also skews the data. Maybe you're pulling the grill in and out of the garage every time you use it and a 450 pound grill is too heavy to lug around. Maybe the cast iron grates on the Vision is exactly what you're looking for and anything else just doesn't hold up for your use. Now it's really up to you to determine who wins the showdown on the way that you use it. We just run the tests, show you the data on who performed the best in each category, and you decide the weight that each category has on your decision to buy. Now, whichever way you go, I wish you happy decision-making and a lifetime of future smoking and grilling. Now, let us know in the comments down below which one that you're choosing or which one you like the best. I'd love to be able to continue the discussion down in the comments section. Now, if outdoor cooking is your thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. And if you're not a subscriber yet, there's no better time than right now because it's giveaway time. That's right, we're giving away the Pit Boss K24 Kamado that we used here in this video. And you can win this exact grill and see the barbecue lab in person when you pick it up. Now, all you need to do to enter is be a subscriber here on the YouTube channel and head over to our website and opt in for email alerts where we let you know about sales in the outdoor cooking world and the techniques and recipes that'll raise your cooking game. Just click subscribe down below and click the link up here and in the description that will take you to our website where you can join our email list. Now the contest winner will be announced on Black Friday, so make sure you're registered to win. Now, if you're thinking about purchasing any of the items that we used in today's video, we put together a huge list of things in the description below to make it easy for you to get the best price. So click those links, save some money, support the channel, and I will see you next time right here on The Barbecue Lab.